Welcome back for some final thoughts tonight. Now, Chris Rock did an excellent job hosting the Oscars last night. I'm not saying it because I want to score points with the black community. I'm not saying it so some folks will stop calling me a cracker. I'm not saying it because I'm on TV and I'm supposed to bow to PC culture. I'm saying it because it's true. That's why I have a real problem with Academy President Cheryl Isaac's pledge to make big changes to the Oscars. I still don't know what that means. She's like Donald Trump and the Democrats. Big things, big changes, blah, blah, blah. Does that mean a race quota and affirmative action Oscars? Boy, just when we thought this country couldn't get any more PC. Now every entertainment, sporting, fashion, and musical event has become a lynching post for straight white men. Think about it. Chris Rock can tell women to get over sexism in his opening monologue. He can call Charlize Theron whiter than Emily Blunt, and he can openly and honestly talk about being an Obama supporter. Imagine if a straight white host tried to do that. He would be the biggest sexist, racist bigot on TV, and that's what bothers me, the double standard. We can't move towards equality when we make different rules for people. It's not a contest of which race has had it harder. How long are we going to play that game? Better question. Will it solve anything? The Black Lives Matter movement has become some kind of untouchable political phenomenon. The protests are allowed to become riots because to hamper them would be racist. Some, listen carefully, some of the activists are allowed to chant death of the police and burn it down without any repercussions because to condemn that language would be racist. And when a black person comes out against or God forbid in support of someone like me, they are automatically Uncle Tom's. Does that sound like something we as Americans should endorse? I get it. White Americans may never truly understand the black struggle, even today. Who am I to pretend I know it all? I don't. But listen for a second. This might be controversial, but it needs to be said. Here or take a few select areas, black Americans can go into white neighborhoods and feel safe. You might get some strange looks, but your life probably isn't going to be threatened. However, there are many, many parts of town I dare not venture into. And you know it because you tell me all day on Twitter and Instagram. If we catch you here, Barbie, we're going to do X, Y, Z to you. Do you want equality or intimidation? If we can't understand and appreciate the experiences of one another, we will never eliminate racism. Those are my final thoughts. As always, feel free to disagree. I will see you right back here tomorrow night. Take care.